with Lewis Riddick and an eye on the NFC games next week. And and it's Philadelphia, New Orleans. I, you could call it part two in a sense, but yeah. Nick Foles wasn't the quarterback when they went down there and got run 48 to 7. And and now the stakes are obviously different. The air probably tougher to, to, to find. You would know better than I would. Sure. How different is this game potentially than the the regular season game? It's very different because you know how momentum and confidence plays a, such a key role. And Nick obviously is not just given the offense confidence. He's given the entire team confidence that no matter what, that they can pull it out. And he showed that against the Bears, obviously. He led them down the field and gave them the game winning, threw them the game winning touchdown the to Golden Tate. Now, also the difference now in this game will be the improvement that the young players have made on the defensive side of the ball, particularly in the secondary. They look totally they different. Look, exactly. They look much different. They're still rather simplistic. But they're playing better with much, much more confidence, unlike when they were down there before and Drew just carved them up. On top of that, too, look, Fletcher Cox, Whew. he's as good as it gets. <laughs> yeah. So he, he, And he's going to have to be that good down there yeah. to slow down that running game first so Drew then can just go off on you and be a two-dimensional type of offense. I mean, no disrespect to uh, the Ferrari, Mr. Trubisky, but, I mean, Drew Brees is a different dude, man. He's got, <laughs> he's, he's got a wealth of playoff experience. Yeah. I'd be really, really interested to see if Philadelphia can hang the way they did in this game, getting the win on the road against Chicago. Then we get Dallas and L.A., the Stars yeah. and all this and that. This Rams team has looked a lot different. I mean, you lose Cup, Gurley's been out, and now last year they, they laid an egg at home. Yeah. And now here comes Dallas off this win at home. What do you think we see in Th that game? This could be a very, very tough matchup for them, for the Los Angeles Rams. Why, Why? Because the, the speed of the Dallas defense and the ferocity with which they play and really attack the line of scrimmage is something that you saw when the Eagles went out there and played the Rams. It had Jared Goff on his heels. It had the interior of that offensive line on its heels. And these guys in Dallas, led by Demarcus Lawrence, are phenomenal. They have tremendous speed at linebacker with Van Der Esch in particular and Jalen Smith. Now they can be the guys who can neutralize, you know, a guy like Todd Gurley. And then in the back end, they just play suffocating man-to-man -man defense. So... This is, a, this is a tough matchup for them. If Dak can play hot, just like he's been, and Amari can be good, and you know Zeke is going to run it, and he's going to run it effectively against a team that can't stop the run mm -hmm. in the Rams, this could be one of those, those deals where you're looking at the Rams and you're going, could they be one and done as well? We'll wow. see. Uh, uh, planting a seed for maybe another yeah. another road team to do well. This yep. was certainly a weekend where the, where the road teams and the road dogs were, were barking loud. Louis, appreciate yeah, you. You got it.